$149,000. That's about what you would have made trading with Magic 8 Ball over the last few days. How did we get to that number? Well, let's back up a little bit. First off, what is Magic 8 Ball? It is a stock market prediction engine that I've built. My name is Brian. You can join by clicking the link. It is down below. Why did I build this? Well, like you, I one day got into options trading and I went out to YouTube and typed in options trading and I found a bunch of these type of videos where everybody's trying to sell you their secret sauce. Everybody's saying you can make billions of dollars and quit your job tomorrow. What a lot of these videos don't tell you is you can also lose everything in a single trade if you're not smart. So I wanted to be smart and I wanted to understand how the market works and in the process started building this software. So I hate calling it a prediction engine because really what it is, is just a lot of math. And that math, well, let's just go down and show you. I've done this in other videos, but we have predictions for different underlyings. Each prediction is split into a text wall versus a chart. Uh, the text wall has some verbiage here. Tells you what the price is, where we think it's gonna go, where it'll range, metrics to back up that claim and areas of interest, specifically volume profile and open interest. Both of those tend to pull that price like a magnet. And then, uh, I don't know what this is called. I call it hot spots because I don't know what else to call it, but it's just areas of the market that really draw that price. A very brief forecast. And that was really you know kind of version 1.0. And then a lot of people said, hey, how do I trade this? Because like you or like me, they were going out to YouTube, they stumbled across one of my videos on it, and they wanted to trade it, but they didn't know what to trade. So I kind of tacked on this trading system. The problem is, I wrote the trading system, and I am not an expert in options trading. So immediately, I said, okay, this is crap, and I went out and I started researching all these YouTube channels and all these people that are really good at trading. And each trade is based on or emulating one of my, my heroes, you know, one of my idols. So for example... Butterfly Trades uh, actually is kind of trying to emulate Ernie with a zero DTE strategy. Uh, a, th a few other traders as well, but Ernie's a very big influence on that. Iron Condor pulls very heavily from Tom in uh, Axe Options. We'll cover Axe Options here in a minute. And then Verticals also really heavily pull from the Axe Options group and a few other groups that I've been in, but mainly Axe Options. I'm kind of emulating about a dozen different traders and their trading habits and trying to summarize it into one style of trade. So if you haven't watched my other videos, please do. I really in-depth talk about each one of these trades and how to use them and the fact that you can literally just copy this and paste it into Thinkorswim. It makes it just mind-numbingly easy. Also has this chart. Again, covered this chart in previous videos. But quick recap, the blue line is the volume profile. It literally points right to where it's going to go. This red line really highlights where we think that price is going to go. Then we have a three-point range here of where the price is going to range. And then these golden lines are the hot spots, these areas of interest. And you can see the magenta line, the price, and the green line, the predictions. This is pretty typical of SPX, is first thing in the morning it'll spike in one direction or another, and then of course the price follows that spike and then drops back down. And the chart really helps you see what's happening here. And then over time, the prediction tends to stabilize on a certain part of the market and the price will just gravitate right towards it. And it's kind of interesting to watch. When it hits one of these gold lines or these hot spots, it tends to just kind of bounce along it until it figures out what it wants to do. So for a point of reference, today is December 12th, I'm sorry, December 23rd, 2020, and it is 3.38 in the afternoon. Ooh, the market's gonna close soon. And that's what SPX is doing and we're predicting a close near 38.42 right here. So for it to go to 38.42, it's going to have to pull up a little bit right up into there, that blue dotted line. Could do it. All right, so then I released the software and a lot of people came in and said, well, how much money does it make? How much have you made? You know, show me what it's made in the last 10 years. I, I can't, this is brand new. It hasn't been running for 10 years. It hasn't even been running for a year. But with the help of some folks, um, let's go up here. Uh, especially for this video, Grand Calabash and Vance Lauren, uh, we were able to plug in the profit and loss calculations for the last few days. So if you started trading on 12.15 and went all the way through 12.22, blindly taking every single SPX trade this thing generates, 
every single one of them without question, you would have made $149,000. Now that's also assuming that you had the capital to back up any drawdowns. So let's dive into these logs real quick. I'm gonna pull this down. You betcha I wanna download that, I'm gonna download it. It's Michigan and I have, uh, I'm recovering from a cold and I do not wanna edit this video. So I'm going to apologize in advance if I cough or sneeze. I don't wanna edit this video because I want to show you I'm not hiding anything. All right, so in there we have the logs for every single day. And let's just pull one open. I'm gonna to have to move some stuff around the screen, I can already tell, there we go. All right, so, and I'm gonna resize this just to make sure it's actually in the view area, there we go. Logs, very simple. We have the date time in UTC, the underlying, notice there's multiple. The name of the trade, butterflies, iron condors, verticals, the premium, the predicted and the closing amount, what it actually closed at and whether or not it expired. This is what I personally track is did it expire in profit? Yes or no? Because I'm looking for trades that 100% make money every single time. Then the actual trade. That way, if you want to do any sort of back testing, I don't, I'm not smart enough to know how to do that yet. And then the actual profit and loss right here for each and every trade. Now, again, this is assuming you took only SPX and you blindly followed every single trade that it did. And let's just go down and down and all the way down. There's a lot of trades. So this generates three, tra three trades for every single underlying every five minutes, which is why we got about a thousand some odd trades. So the total profit, if you take in every single trade was this astronomical number here. Um, most of that's in part to NDX. I have a love hate relationship with NDX because it's such a big index that when it goes good, it goes good. When it goes bad, it really pulls that number down. So we're focused on SPX right here. And let's just, for the sake of argument, highlight some stuff. So we are going to talk about SPX only. And our profit for that day on SPX was about 40K. Again, that's assuming you had the capital to actually cover any drawdowns and blah, blah, blah. Its overall accuracy for all the predictions was 96%. Butterflies were 90%. And then Vance and I had talked, and he kind of convinced me to do this, to split the butterflies up into three different data points. The number of pins, plus or minus five bucks, zero. The number of butterflies that made over 50% profit, 44. The number that made less than 50%, 33. But those were still in profit. Iron condors, 100% accurate. If you watched my previous videos, you know why. Iron condors in the system are huge. And then verticals are 97% accurate. So really the main takeaway here is we're talking about following SPX and only SPX blindly every single trade that it does, meaning you would have entered all these winners and losers for a total of 231 222 of them would have expired full profit, and nine would have been complete failures. That was a good day at 215. I'm sorry, 1215. Again, I'm not editing this video. And if you look at this list, you'll notice that it's not all peaches and cream. Everything is not good on 1222. So, in the interest of full disclosure, let's look at that day and see what's going on here. So, let's go here and 1222. We can open all these other logs, but we're going to focus on the bad day here. 1222, let's see what happened. Okay, let's scroll down. I'm gonna actually get rid of this little window here. Again, same deal. Log, same format, got the trades, you got the profit and loss off to the side here. And you can see the expired versus non-expired. Let's just go down, all the way down. And using NDX, you can see NDX really pulled this thing way down. That's why I hate NDX, because when it loses, it pulls the metrics and everything else down. But we're talking SPX right here. And this is why I wanted to focus on this. So the reason why we had such a bad day that day is because SPX was only 58% accurate. Why? Butterflies. I have a love-hate relationship with butterflies. But even on this crap day, you can see the iron condors were 80% accurate and the vertical accuracy was 80%. Again, iron condors, that 20% failure rate would have completely been a massive drawdown, which I suspect is a big part of that number right here. So really, what are we getting at here? The system's not perfect. 
but even with its in just complete flaws, bugs, inaccuracies, it's still able to generate money. That being said, if you just completely blindly followed every single trade, you still got a good chance. Um, I wouldn't recommend it unless you have billions of dollars to just watch the world burn. What I would recommend doing if you're going to start with this system is start with iron condors because they are big, they are slow, and they're usually 100% accurate. This was a very bad day and the market made a lot of movement. Verticals would be your next stop. It takes a little bit more finesse to work with verticals. And then butterflies, of course, are probably the hardest thing to get done right. Um, that being said, let's just crack open another log. Again, Michigan winter, I got a cold, losing my voice. Let's just, I'm gonna randomly pick a day. What is this? 12, 19. We're going to go down. Let's just see what happened on 12, 19. Oh yeah, that would have made a pretty hefty chunk of money here. 46k. Um, let's go down and you can see, and that's even with all these flaws, like 0% butterflies for NDX. But let's go down to SPY, or I'm sorry, SPX, because that's what we're baselining here. And there's SPX in all its glory. You can see butterflies only 39%. I am working on the butterfly code. It is not perfect. Uh, the overall accuracy was drawn down because of that butterfly code being inaccurate. But iron condors, look at that, 100%. Verticals, 90%. Again, this is this assuming you got into Magic 8-Ball, followed SPX, and just blindly took every single trade that it generated. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but you could if you had a lot of money. Um, so to follow up, uh, and kind of close this video before I start coughing again. Um, if you're new, what I would recommend you do is you kind of go in, observe, check these logs. Um, some things are better than others, like SPY has actually been slightly more accurate than SPX. I'm kind of surprised to see that SPX was more accurate this day. But uh, a lot of folks focus on SPX, so I'm using that as a baseline. Um, and don't just take what these trades are giving you. I mean, don't just blindly follow the system. We have an education section in here where I have already gone out to YouTube and I found people that know what they're talking about, or in some cases they've found me and I'm blown away by their knowledge. And let's just go through them. So Ernie with his uh, zero DTE, it's sorry, it's zero dash DTE.com. He really specializes in butterflies. So I'm like hyper-focused on watching his videos. Um, Tom with Aramir Trading, really super smart guy. Amplified Investing, um, big shout out to Vance, really helped me with those numbers, I appreciate that. Um, and his videos are actually really good, you should watch those. Uh, Axe Options, my second home away from home, I'm in the Axe Options trading group, let's just kick that open. Uh, big shout out to the Axe Options group. Um, again, these trades kind of emulate different people and a lot of the people that I'm emulating are actually in this Axe Options group. So, you know, go out there and join the group. If you can't find them, it's just axe, like the axe that you chop down a tree with options. And go in there, I'll see you in there. And then there's Trading Made Simple with Sandra, and of course my videos with Magic 8-Ball. And I just put a lot of how-to videos out there. Uh, sorry, losing my voice. Put a lot of how-to videos out there. The major takeaway here is if you join up, you know, don't just rely on this service. Definitely seek out these mentors. Um, I think each one of them either has their own YouTube channel or their own service. And I'm not, I'm not getting paid a dime to say this. Um, they're just people that I have mad respect for. And I can tell you without a doubt, you will not waste your time going through their videos as opposed to going through this ocean of YouTube, which is just abysmal. Um, definitely follow people that know what they're talking about. And once you get into the swing of things and you are comfortable and you maybe done some paper trades with this, then put in some real money. Uh, real quick, if you want this service dead free, Iron condors are the way to go. I'm just going to level with you. If you trade an iron condor, it has a 99% chance of making profit. Do not ride that to full expiration because the risk to reward is horrible. I cover how to trade iron condors in another video on my channel. But if you want to get the service free, you do an iron condor. And even late in the day, it would be $45 to nail this iron condor. I recommend you get into the iron condor around 9.45 Eastern Standard Time. And just that one trade will pay for a month's worth of the service and you'll even have profit because you typically enter at about 50 to $75. So happy trading. Um, I hope to see you in my group. Um, 
if you do, just you know, jump in and say hi to everybody. It's a really great group of people that we're building. And I also, again, cannot recommend enough these folks down here in the education channel. Definitely check them out. Talk to you later.